All right, this box is huge. And oh, not as much to put together, so that's good. It's mostly put together, which sometimes good or bad. <laughs> we'll see. Other times I like to put it together myself, make sure stuff is greased, lubed properly. But all right, let's take it out and see what we got. All right, Alpine Trail E1. A little bit of scuff there from shipping. The sucker's heavy. Whew. All right, let's take it apart and see what we got. All right, almost done. Just take the battery out. Dropper post goes up through here, so it's a little bit long. So I need to shorten it to get it right. So yeah. So the Alpine Trail E1 is finally built and done. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm pretty excited about this bike to see how it rides. Of course, it's well, it may not be raining right now. Uh, was raining earlier today. I may take it out just for a sec and see how it goes. I have to ride it a little bit just to see. Wow, I love it. <laughs> I haven't been on an e-bike in, ooh, it's been probably since maybe February, March. Whoever went to Bentonville, that was the last time, then I sold it. So yeah, being, being back on an e-bike feels really nice. I have some knee problems, so sometimes I actually can't pedal a normal bike very easily, so I need that assist. Uh, some people need it, some people just want it for fun. Whatever your need is or want, e-bikes are so much fun. On the trail, it's probably gonna be really fun and awesome. So I can't wait uh, to try it out on the trail. All right, we made it to uh, Warda to Bluff Creek Ranch, which is a cool 300 acre. Oh, there's Tim. Tim's joining us today. What's up? Hey, Tim. Uh, so yeah, we got the whole Bailey crew. All right, we're ready to ride today, guys. You ready? Yep. So we're excited. So as uh, said earlier, we're going to be riding this guy today. So we're going to jump on the Alpine Trail and give it a little test. Uh, no, we don't have any uh, mountains, but we do have some cool hills here and it's a cool fun ranch. And so we'll test it out a little bit and then we'll go over some of the specs and the features in a little bit, maybe out on the trail. Tim's going to ride it too. Um, we'll see. He may or may not. I don't know if I trust him on it yet, but we'll see. Oh wow, there's a lot of birds that live over here. Okay. Oh yeah, that was one of these. Look at that guy. He's oh, a big dude. Gonna... Alright boys. Let's go ride. Alright, here we go. So smooth. Whee! <laughs> oh yeah, so smooth. I'm not gonna run you over. I'm carrying 50 pounds of bike and camera gear. <laughs> Tim's flying. Woohoo! There we go. Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! So much traction on these tires. Yeah, push, push, push. Nice, good job, bud. That was a good, that was a good climb now. You got it, you need some help. You want us to go away? Okay. Nah. I got it. You forget I taught swim lessons to like three year olds. Just trust me, in like five minutes. Okay. I guess we're getting left out here. Yeah. Do you want to build a shelter first? Yeah. No. How are we going to sleep out here? here? What? I just want to stay here. Like you just want to stay here? here? But how are you going to get food? What do you mean you don't care about starving? And you'll die. We don't want you to die. You never wanted to do this. Yeah. But guess what? Yeah. Well, sometimes we got to do things we don't want to do. But I guess since we're stuck out here, we better start building a shelter so we can sleep in it tonight. Will you help me? But then we gotta get going so we don't have to sleep out here, okay? Uh, yeah. All right, can you get on your bike? I'll be right behind you, okay? See, you're doing so good. All right, we've gone a few miles. Um, the littlest boy uh, decided he is not wanting to ride today. <laughs> right? You guys are doing good, huh? Somewhat. Yeah. Last time, one of you guys were in a mood too. I can't remember. Tanner? Maybe it was Tanner. Hey. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> just kidding. All right, so. While we're waiting, let's talk about some of the specs of the Marin Alpine Trail E1. So starting with the frame, 
So this is the new Alpine trail frame uh, for 2021. They redesigned it, made it more slack, 63 degree head tube angle. And this sucker, obviously we're not talking about the normal Alpine trail, this is the E, so the electric version. Uh, as far as the frame goes, this down tube is massive. So here's like a normal size and then it just bows out here. It is huge to uh, accommodate the massive uh, 500, 500 watt battery. Uh, down here, uh, you have the Shimano E7000 motor. So it's a little bit lighter. I had the E8000 on my nail trail. Um, that one has uh, 70 newton meters of torque. This one has 60 newton meters of torque. So a little bit less torque, but it is lighter by half a pound or so. Going back to the frame, super slack, but steeper seat tube angle. So it should be better at climbing, but you have a motor, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, hey, there you are. So up front, we have the RockShock 35 Gold, 160 millimeters of travel. Uh, boost spacing in the back you have the rock shock deluxe super deluxe coil i've never owned a uh, shock with a coil but this one has it uh, so that's good for extreme riding and more skills than i'm capable of but uh, so you got a, a coil plus piggyback reservoir for the oil to flow i don't understand how all of it works but um, they do as far as the drivetrain goes you have shimano dior uh, 10 speed you have a 1146 tooth cassette. So most e-bikes don't have as much range because you have the motor, so you don't really need quite the range. So 10 speed gears, Transex dropper up front. The E7000 has a little bit smaller screen than the E8000. So this will tell you the different modes. You have your buttons over here for the different modes. So you can turn it off. You can turn it on to eco mode, trail mode, boost mode. Uh, range is about 60 miles on eco, about 40 on trail, and about 30, I think, on boost mode is what it was estimating. You have a power button, turn it on and off, which is cool. You have a Dior 10-speed shifter. Uh, don't know about the little indicator. I don't know why they had that on there. Maybe it just comes with it, but uh, it just moves. Uh, no numbers on it. While we're on this side, we'll talk about the tires up front. You have, uh, oh yeah, so this is a mixed wheel size, so 29-inch wheels in the front. 27.5 in the back uh, that's a lot of the downhill riders have been going to mixed wheel or mullet because you have you can roll over things easier but you have a little bit more control and be able to turn a little better in the back is what they say most people honestly you're probably not going to notice that difference as much but it comes with it standard uh, you also have different tires up front you have a 29 by 2.5 uh, maxis Asagai tire tons of traction up here and then in the back, you have the Maxxis Minion DHR2. This is a 27.5 by 2.8, so very chunky for traction in the back. All right, talking about the brakes really quick. Uh, massive 203 millimeter rotors, uh, four piston M4100s, front and back. In the back, 203 millimeters as well. And so lots of stopping power from the four piston brakes. Um, up here, this is your little charging port. Um, so you can char charge the battery. Um, it doesn't show how much battery you have left when you're charging, which is you have to go into the app to do it, but that's where you plug it in. Or you can remove the battery. You just have to take this little thingy out and then stick a four millimeter Allen, and then this whole battery can drop out. So that's a quick overview. We're gonna keep writing. We'll talk about it more in a little bit. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, snake. Yeah, huge snake. All right, it's steep. Let's see going up this thing. Come on, boost. Boost mode. Woohoo! That wasn't too bad. My legs are tired. Woo! <laughs> Ah, spider. Whoa. 
Michael, what's your head? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Sharp turn. Whoa, it's loose. Fine. Billy Goat just climbs. Tons of traction. Oh. Uh -huh. All right. Well, unfortunately, our time at Warda. On the Alpine Trail is coming to an end. Uh, just have a little bit left to ride, but uh, <laughs> what a bike! It's been really fun today. Uh, this is what I why I like e-bikes. Um, definitely able to ride a lot further than I normally could, uh, just with my athleticism and sometimes my knee. Uh, I love e-bikes to explore and just to go further. Yes, they're heavy. Yes, they're expensive. But man, a lot of fun. And obviously today we're more in a cross country type trail. This can do much more difficult trails with a much more capable rider. But uh, Bravo Marin on the Alpine Trail E1. Uh, no complaints that I could think of. Uh, these little block things are a little <laughs> unsightly. I guess the frame, anyway, the, the down tube's too big so it hits right there. So anyway, other than that, I think that's about it. Yeah. Not a whole lot to complain about. I, I like it a lot. If you're looking, I mean, you just have to compare it. If you're looking at other e-bikes, obviously, you're if you're comparing it to other ones, uh, you just have to compare components and, and price. This is 4,900 bucks, so it's a lot of money. But e-bikes are going up in price right now. Just parts and materials are hard to find. So keep the Marin uh, Alpine Trail E in mind when you're shopping. Uh, we This is the only one we have right now. If you're interested in getting one, uh, let us know at bikingroots.com well that's gonna end today's video thanks for watching guys if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from biking roots and as always stay safe out there have fun and we'll see you on the next one take care bye